Hello there, folks. Uh, yeah, I just want to show you something that is a bit of a workaround that I've discovered that works for me in HitFilm Express. Um, first of all, I want to say, uh, for the price, you just can't beat HitFilm. Um, you know, you, you can use the Express version, which is um, not you know kind of hampered in any way it just doesn't have all the fancy features of, of the hip film pro version but it's a perfectly good piece of software and what it does is it integrates the editor and compositor um, in one program and uh, i just love it and i've got a situation here where i've got various clips that i've decided i want to put sort of other layers on top and and you you kind of can do that in the editor but really uh, what i need is to convert this series of clips into a comp shot well i've turned the first one into a comp shot because there's no way of selecting multiple clips as far as i know uh, and say i'll oh, make you know, combine that into a, a comp shot. You can't make comp. So what you have to do is a bit clunky, but it works. So this is the, the comp the, with the first bit of video in. And the first thing to do is to change the settings, um, just to give you more room to work with, depending on how long, you know, the collection of clips is going to be basically in your comp shot. Um, so, you know, I tend to just to add a minute to whatever the original time was and now I've got plenty of room to work in so what I want to do is to join all these clips into the end of that um, and then add some layers on top as well with captions and what have you obviously uh, there's some effects I've got here they're just um, cross phase there's nothing clever um, in fact you might just as well delete them because they they will get deleted in this process anyways is to make that into a comp shot uh, control M is the quick way and I give it um, a silly name uh, tend to just call it TTT then I can select that copy or cut that go back to your main shot and paste that in uh, I tend to have my time kind of cascade down from top to bottom it's just the way I like to work so there it is that's in there um, yeah, it's in the right place and yeah good to go for that one don't need ttt anymore um just delete it from there um and delete it from there so it's no longer one of my media so it just and you literally just keep doing that Okay, and what you can see we're starting to run out of space, so all I'll do is again go into the settings, just add another minute. And this is probably going to be edited down anyways, but I can do it all in here. Um, and it doesn't matter how long the shot is for now. In fact, you can delete it straight from here. It just gives you a warning. You say yes, okay. Oh, yeah, um, by the way, you, can, you might think, oh, well, I'll just go copy. Uh, go in here and right click paste and nothing happens oh I suppose one last thing is to say having done that we now have got this clip that is now the wrong length so the last thing to do really is to tidy that up but yeah I, I kind of approximate to it zoom in approximate a bit tighter and then use the frame by frame now that frames visible that will give me a number which I just control C into the settings control V okay and there's your clip uh, back to the editor um, and lo and behold I did remember to get them all because you can see it fits now to the end of that. So that's my crafty workaround to turn the series of pre-edited clips into a comp shot.